Hey everyone, so if you're making a lot of videos for Instagram and you're editing inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, then I've created a tool specifically for you. And essentially what it is, it's a Premiere Pro project file that has a bunch of template pre-made sequences that are ready to go. Now whether you're going to be editing for square, portrait, vertical, or landscape layouts, there's a sequence ready for you. Now it's really simple, all you gotta do is bring your footage into one of these sequences, resize, reposition, edit how you want, and then it's ready to export. But the real beauty is you're gonna see how everything's positioned before you export, so it's gonna make editing very, very easy. It's available for $10 on my website at boonlowsvideo.com slash shop. So now I'm gonna open up the project, show you what it looks like, and I'm gonna show you how you can use it. This is what the product will look like. You essentially have the two project files here, one for CS6 and one for the latest version of Premiere Pro. When you open that up, you have four folders here, and these are for all the different layouts. And if you open these up, there's essentially three versions for each format or each layout. And it just all depends on the frame rate you're using. So there's three different options. You have 2997, 25, and uh, 24. So let's say that I want to use one of these. So I have some footage in here. And this is just of uh, a baby eating some vegetables. He's very pissed off. So let's say we want to put this on Instagram, but we don't want to do it in landscape. We want to do it in square. So I'm going to go over here to the one by one square. And if I look at the footage, this was shot in uh, 30 frames per second. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this 30 frames per second sequence. You can see here it's set to square. Now I can go ahead and bring this footage in. And now you want to be careful with this because it's telling you it's a clip mismatch warning. It says the clip does not match the sequence's settings. Change sequence to ma match the clip settings. That's definitely what we do not want to do. So I'm going to say keep existing settings. And there was actually a little button on there that said always ask. You can deselect that. Now this footage, if you, if you look at it again, is actually shot in 4K. So it's quite big. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to effect controls. If you can't see it, go to window effect controls. And this will allow me to scale this down. So I'm going to go ahead and scale this down. And that, that's looking good. Now let me go ahead and play this back. Are you ready to, are you ready to eat your vegetables? They're right here. Are you, re are you ready? Okay, let's do it. Let's take some vegetables here. Mama says you have to eat it every day. So that's... Okay, <laughs> now let's just cut it right there. Let's say I wanna cut it there. So I'm going to grab my razor blade tool, cut it there. And we want to trim out some of the beginning here. Are you ready? To, are you ready to eat your veg? Right there. Now the cool thing about this is, once again, I can see it. You know, I can see what it's going to look like. I don't have to wonder, like, hey, is part of my clip going to be cut off when I, you know, crop it to square? And if it, if I had something on the side of the frame here, I could simply go over to position and drag the position. You know, move it around like this if I want to. And I can also, you know, I can cut this up and reposition individual clips. So it's pretty cool. And now I can go ahead and when I export this out, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command M. Now you want your format set to H.264 and then you wanna have the preset match source. There's two available, you can do high bit rate or medium bit rate. And since I'm gonna be uploading this, I wanna keep it at medium bit rate. You know, it's the, the difference in quality is kind of, you know, you can't really tell that much. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this. Call it Eating Vegetables. And everything else is fine. And this is the, the nice part is that you don't even have to mess with the export settings. A lot of people are always wondering, like, what are my export settings for Instagram? Well, with these sequences, you won't have to worry about any of that. Just simply select either medium or high bitrate. And it gives you an estimated file size right down here. It tells us it's going to be 5 megabytes. But if I went up and I selected this high bitrate right here, then it's going to you know be quite a bit, almost three times the file size. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep that at medium bitrate. And I'm going to go ahead and export this. Okay, so I got my file exported out in the square format. It's ready to go, it's ready for Instagram. So to get it from my desktop to my mobile device to upload to Instagram, I'm gonna create a folder inside of Google Drive, drag it over, upload it to Google Drive, and then use my Google Drive app on my phone to upload to Instagram from there. You can also use Dropbox to accomplish this, or if you're on an iPhone, you can use Apple's AirDrop feature. Now I wanted to show you one more thing. Here I went ahead and started a new project. And this might be a smarter way to work. You don't want to have to open up that Instagram sequences project every time and you don't want to mess with those original you know, sequence files and mess them up. So a great way to do that is to actually import those in. So I can import either the entire project or the individual sequences. So all I got to do is double click in my project panel here. And then I can select the Instagram sequences project. 
select import and then here this import project dialog box is going to give me a couple options as I said before I can import one of those individual sequences or I can import the entire project so I'm gonna go ahead and import that entire project and there voila all of these sequences are here and ready and available to use and that's probably really the best workflow is you want to import this project into your original project as compared to opening the Instagram sequences project. All right, so there you have it. Really cool product, Instagram sequences. Really going to speed up your workflow if you're creating a lot of videos for Instagram and you're using Adobe Premiere Pro. And once again, you can pick it up for $10. Just head over to my website, boonthosevideo.com shop.